Hello there everyone and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata and I have yet more news for you today concerning the Xbox 720. We have quite a bit of information concerning the next-gen console. According to a report by Polygon, Microsoft will be more closely positioning Xbox Live to social networks such as Twitter and Facebook by adding the ability to follow other users and removing the current friends cap. Also, the console is apparently going to include the ability to capture video during gameplay and then share it online, which is of course very similar to the PS4's share button which was confirmed quite some time ago. Currently, the Xbox 720 will allow users to review captured gameplay and select highlights. This function can be turned off or set to automatically record during certain in-game events such as FPS headshots or even specific achievements. And it also reports that more control will be handed to creators for how their achievements work on the new console. And they will also be able to add new achievements post-launch without DLC and tie the rewards to a broader set of events such as weekend challenges and cross-title accomplishments such as finishing the first chapter in two different games by the same company. Of course, there is a pretty big reveal coming for the Xbox 720 excuse me, on May 21, where they are going to officially reveal the console and tell us what it's actually going to be called. The Xbox 720 name is pretty much just a placeholder at this time, as they haven't even actually, actually officially confirmed anything, not even the specifications, but hopefully that will all change on May 21. Now what do I think about all this sharing stuff? Well, to be honest, I like the idea behind capturing gameplay. That's cool. I like it in principle. All the sharing stuff and following people on the console though, eh, it's not really something that interests me if I'm honest. I mean, having your friends list there and, oh, so-and-so's online, yeah, let's play a game of X game together, that's, you know, that that's fine, no problem with that, cool, if you want to do that, fair enough, you know. I've done it myself a few times on Steam and so forth, you know, that's the whole point of having a collective place where you know you all sign up and you can see who's online who's playing what and so forth it just you know especially if you've got some co-op game and you're like oh so and so's on let's see if he wants to play that game that's fine no problem with that but personally i don't particularly want to stop following people or sharing my achievements or whatever on facebook or anything like that it's just not something that i've ever been interested in obviously i'm not pretending to speak for everyone here but as it's hard for me to comment on because it just it just the it doesn't matter to me, to be honest. I think that it seems a little bit silly that they're suddenly revealing this now, considering that the PS4 had the share function for quite some time, perhaps they've added it in, or they had planned it all along and it's only just surfaced, it's tough to say. What I do like, however, is this whole idea about achievements and how they're going to have weekend challenges and cross-title accomplishments and stuff like that. I like the idea of that. Weekend challenges are something that we've seen, of course, in big PC games, for example, like an MMO. Like, you usually have big events, like usually on, say, Halloween or something like that, where everyone is invited to come and get some cool loot by taking part in this one-off event. It happens in pretty much a ton of games. So many games have done it. It's not just exclusive to PC or even to MMOs, but even Pokemon used to do it back in the day and they still do. So yeah, I definitely like that idea, that's very very cool, but I just want to go back to the game ca gameplay capture for just a moment. My concern with this, as well as the one on the PS4, is that you can't really use it to do commentary or any kind of proper video on YouTube or any other sharing service online simply because there's no real way to edit the footage which means that you cannot add voiceover you cannot cut anything out or cut anything in and basically it just makes it impossible to make anything other than say a montage reel because it says you can select highlights from the footage so I'm assuming Obviously, we don't have much information here that you would go through the captured footage and you say, oh, that was a really cool kill. I want that in there. And you select it and it puts it on like a timeline or something like that. And you would do that and it would literally would just put them all together in a sequence like a montage. But I don't know. I'm just guessing here based on the information. There's not really many details here. So I'm just having to go on what I think would make sense. Being able to select highlights kind of suggests to me that maybe you'd be able to put them all together into one video or maybe it literally means that you can post a, each highlight as a separate clip and that would be actually even worse. I mean the thing is whilst it's cool for sharing that odd oh my god that was so funny I need to share that with 
Bob. You know, that's cool. You know, that that functionality is fine, but it's not ever really going to be able to use for people to do commentary and recording gameplay using the inbuilt system because there's no ability to edit within the game. Obviously, you know, it seems much more sensible to get something like a hubbage or what have you and capture it onto your PC where you have full control over your footage. You can edit it however you want. You know, you can put clown music over the top of it or you know, make everyone wear silly hats if, that, if that's your thing. You know, the, the point is that's the control you need to be able to make a proper video for YouTube or anything really. So I don't know how far the usage of this is going to go. I mean, yeah, we might see some funny clips from it, which is cool, don't get me wrong. Um, I like the idea, I just feel like it needs to be more fully developed to be used in a more serious fashion. It's, I think it's just going to be used for viral clips and stuff like that, which is one cool thing, but I feel like it could be used better. But that's just me. As a, as an editor, as a freelance editor, it's just my it's just my personal preference. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Would you like to see some more functionality put into this whole gameplay recording thing? Or would you prefer they just not bother? Or, you know, whatever. Just hit me up with your feedback. I'm always wanting to hear from you guys. I mean, you know what I think about this topic, but what do you think? Anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.